everyone, and welcome back. We've got solar winds today on the docket. It's going to be uh, showing off a couple of things that you only get with Northcraft versus solar winds, and we're going to use the Tableau interface. Just a quick backdrop, as you know, we make BI applications for various enterprise applications, which includes all of the ETL, the data warehouse, and the cubes. Uh, with SolarWinds, a couple things that we can do specifically. Let me highlight with the demo. Uh, we have our pre-calculated measures, key performance indicators as well. Um, and what Northcraft does really well is we handle, number one, quite a bit of data, and we do that quickly. Uh, so, for example, you know that SolarWinds purges data after 90 days. Um, we'll go ahead and put the... Uh, number of dropped ICMP packets here um, onto our uh, worksheet, okay? And then we're going to show that by month. So um, first thing that you can see here is that, okay, uh, yep, 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 there we go. We're going back further than 90 days. So in the data warehouse, we collect a whole lot of data. Um, you also have the analytical capability, and let me show you what I mean by that. To add um, to our analysis, now that we see the uh, dropped ICM packets by date, let's look at those by location and then kind of drill to detail on a large number of records. So open up a new worksheet. We're going to, again, do uh, dropped ICMP packets. But this time, instead of doing it by date, let's go by... Um, our node, okay, and we'll look at it by location, okay, so, okay, we'll do a, uh, not a highlight table, but a tree map, okay, so, um, and this is no time filter either, so, we're looking at essentially since 2013 in this data set, um, and I can see that, you know, over time, across all time, that uh, the number one location with uh, dropped ICMP packets is this MDF room. So the SNMP MIBs will need to have that information uh, included in them per SolarWinds configuration, and, and you probably all are aware of that if you're watching this video. Um, but let me show you one thing I really like. So we want to drill down a little bit further into this, okay? We can view the data. And this is going to take a little bit to run, but let's go ahead and do it. So we're going to look at all the rows. And, you know, you have a couple things working here, okay? So if you've seen our Excel videos, Excel is very fast. Um, it allows you to drill down to a larger number of rows, but not as quickly as Tableau. And that's because Tableau is in memory. Now, if you've seen our Power BI videos, uh, it can drill down even into more and more quickly uh, as a result of its uh, in-memory architecture. So you've got three different ways to look at the same data. But what I want to point out here is that you can drill down into 58,000 rows, which we did, just did. And you could measure the amount of time by looking at you know, the beginning of the uh, query in the YouTube video to now. And we're talking about maybe 20 seconds or so to get 58,000 detailed records. Um, so that's helpful. Uh, so, so basically what you have is the ability to look at across all of time in SolarWinds. Uh, we can do analytical queries and not just SQL. We do not hammer on the SolarWinds server when you run those reports. These do not need to be scheduled. This is ad hoc. And what we're doing is we're pulling off the data incrementally from that solar winds uh, database to achieve this. So um, with Tableau, you can connect to our multi-dimensional cubes through analysis services, which we just did, or the data warehouse and run your SQL queries. Um, and of course, that's the same with Power BI. Um, but uh, I thought I'd show Tableau today because it is so popular at the moment. Anyway, uh, that's a couple of use cases that we can put together with ICMP packets. Those are available out of the box with the BI applications. No coding necessary. I thought you'd enjoy that. Let us know if you have any questions through the website or the YouTube channel. Thank you.